Certainly, you have already noticed that all the rivers are crooked. There's no river in the world that goes on a straight line. All the rivers are crooked. Why? Because water always chooses the easiest way. So, if the water finds a rock, it doesn't go over it, it goes around it. Like this, the rivers are going down crooked along its extension because water will always look for the way with the least resistance. And this brings a great lesson to all of us, because if you ask, why does my life not get straight? Why is my life crooked? Maybe it has to do with the same perspective of always looking for the path with least resistance, the easiest way, the one that at first it seems to be the easiest. You avoid difficulties, sacrifices, efforts, you avoid conflicts, confrontations, you keep on avoiding the rocks along your way and avoiding them. And when you look back, you see that your life is all crooked. God hinted countless times in His Word that we shouldn't choose the easiest path. On the contrary, he said, the Lord Jesus said, that the path that leads to salvation is narrow, it's hard. Only a few get it right, because they avoid the hardest path. And one day, he spoke to the people of Israel through Joshua, there on chapter 23, in verses 9 and 10. For the Lord has driven out from before you great and strong nations. But as for you, no one has been able to stand against you to this day. In other words, when God brought the people of Israel to the Promised Land, the text says, when people was driven out from Egypt, God purposely guided them along the most challenging and longest path. It even seems to be a punishment, a way to punish them. But it wasn't. God was preparing the people for the land that they would take possession of and for them to never again go back to the land of Egypt. Sometimes when the person quickly takes possession of something, they lose it. It's that saying, what comes easy, goes easy. But when the person fights to conquer something, they tend to fight not to lose it. This is what many don't understand when they disregard the necessity on getting married and they only move in to live together. Let's just move in together, it's just a piece of paper, we don't need to get married. They despise marriage thinking that they are modern, that they are prioritizing love, but in reality they are making it easier not only the person to enter their lives, but also for the person to leave. Because if it was easy to enter your house, have no doubts, it will be easy for them to leave. But if it was hard, if the young man had to introduce himself to your family, show respect to you when he was dating you, he had to wait until after marriage to take you to bed, if it was hard, if publicly, he committed before his family, friends, to get married with you. Be certain, when a problem comes in the marriage, the odds of you trying to solve these problems instead of taking the first exit and running away will be way greater. More we fight for something, 
more we value it. So God knowing this took the people through the hardest way. So when they conquered the promised land, they would value it. You see, the people of Israel, they value the promised land so much that until today they fight for it. They fight for a piece of land. And after centuries away from the land of Israel, 1940, they went back to the land of Israel and they have retaken the nation of Israel and this is the first time that this happened in human history. A people to stay for so long away from the place and they to retake it. But why these people love this land so much? Because it was a promise of God and was conquered with so much struggle and bloodshed. So the more you fight for something, the more you value it. That's why you can follow the paths of the waters, the path of least resistance, because you have a promise from God that guarantees that no one will be able to resist you every day of your life. There's a promise. So you should resist evil. Resist evil. Don't resist good. What is good? At times, it's hard to conquer it. It's hard to take possession of it. Evil presents itself at times as the easiest way. It's easier to go in but at times there's no exit, but the path that leads to a good life, a life of success is harder to conquer it, but leads you for blessings, salvation and to God. That's why Joshua said, one man of you shall chase a thousand, for the Lord your God is he who fights for you, as he promised you. No one has resisted you to this day. In other words, don't draw back. Don't deviate from it. What God gave us as promise, let's go towards it. We're going to take possession of it regardless of who stands on our way. We won't stop on conquering because of resistance. And you see, when Joshua entered the promised land, they faced the walls of Jericho, a fortress that nobody could enter. He didn't say, listen, let's forget about it, it's too hard to enter, let's try a smaller city. No, the first city, what did he do? He didn't have the strength, the manpower, weapons of war, armies to demolish those walls, but what did he do? He put his knees on the ground and cried out and asked, God, what should we do? And God gave him this strategy, what he should do. And they went to surround for 30 times, for four days, the walls, they blew the trumpets, and God fulfilled his words in the life of Joshua and all the people of Israel. They didn't turn back and forgot about it and left Jericho on the side because it was too big, too hard, walls that nobody could enter. They persevered on the conquest of the promised land. Aren't you choosing the easiest way? And that's why your life is all crooked? Instead of you facing the problems, have you been running away from it and becoming a fugitive on earth? Everything that you put your hands to do, don't you finish? Do you give up when facing relationship problems? When you lose money in business and you don't see the results you expect and you are quick to say, this is not what I want, do you give up on the faith? You give up. You promise that you're going to keep in faith and when you sin, you abandon the faith. I wonder if your life is crooked because you are always choosing the path of least resistance. The path of faith is the path that resists even the devil. Yes, as is written, submit yourself to God and resist the devil and he will flee from you. When you subject yourself to God, when you are allied with God, 
Even Satan himself can come against you. You're going to face him. You're going to look, stare him in the eyes and say, Get out of my way. Get behind me, Satan. And you have to leave. Because who is inside of you promised that nobody will be able to resist you all the days of your life. The question is, have you been with God? If today's video helped you and you know someone that could benefit from it, share it with them. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, you may do so now. See you later.